people and welcome back to my gaming series and today we're playing Rick and Morty for the NES. That's right, this is a ROM hack. Now I found out about this some time ago and I thought I've got to fucking test it out. So we're going to play as Morty first because why the fuck not? So yeah, I, I don't really play the NES if I'm honest, but I saw this and I realised I had to play that motherfucker. So here I am playing the motherfucker for you lucky people. So yeah, here we go. If I can, here we go. Gotta look for me seeks and all the other fucking people. That's fine. As as many of you know, I'm a massive fan of um of Rick and Morty. Shit, lots of buttons. There we go. So yeah, let's see how this adds up. Have to be honest, um it's late at night, so I'm a bit tired while playing this fucker, but you know what the fuck? Oh, that's a me seeks. I thought why the fuck not play it? I was gonna play that Rugrats one. The uh, movie one. Because I said I was gonna do it last time. But I don't know, I saw this and I wanted to play it. So I downloaded a new NES emulator. The Messen emulator, which is free, so that's pretty good. And just download the motherfucker, comes with its bios and all that shit, so that's brilliant. No setup needed, just fucking run the bastard and then there you go. I'm actually currently working on a sort of hands-free sort of uh, emulation setup at the moment. We're over on some kind of Android headset and basically a Bluetooth controller or a USB controller and then just play the bass whenever you want. But so far, the only ones I can find is them all in one HMDs and some of them work and some of them are just a bit fucking shit so I'm not sure. I'm always thinking of something. I'm still after the MSI Trident 3 but that's going to take a while to save up. So at the moment I just want to fucking do something that I can actually play, it looks cool and you know I can talk about the motherfucker. Shit. So this is apparently a ROM hack of something called Alien Syndrome. Never played the motherfucker, though it was on my GPD as it came standard. Which, by the way, if anyone, if you haven't played that motherfucking console, you really need to give the GPD win and the GPD XD a go. Now, I myself have only ever played the GTXD, but to be quite honest with you, it's fucking badass. I hear they came out with another one called the GPD XD Plus. Now, if that's the case, that is fucking amazing because that console was badass. One of my favourite all time handhelds I've ever played. Or maybe even just console in general, it's fucking awesome. It played everything I wanted it to play apart from fucking PS2, but that's pushing the system a bit too far. Now, apparently the wind can do that, so that's pretty cool. But the XD, badass. Can't, can't fucking vote it, really can't. Absolutely love it. Only wish that they came up with some kind of headset version. Really into VR, so yeah, anything like that I fucking love. Shit. Now this is made by, oh fuck, what's his name? Ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember his fucking name. Pack something ROMs, I think it is. I'm going to link him below in the description, but you can download this ROM fucking free of charge. Not all of his ROMs are free to download, mind you. There was a Buffy and Angel one I was checking out, and that motherfucker you got to buy. And you know, fair credit to the bastard, you know, he, he makes these mo these ROMs, he might as well get fucking paid for it. And uh, But this one's free. You can buy the cartridge version, obviously, to support him. But uh, I didn't. Oh shit. No, I just downloaded the ROM and thought I'd play the bastard. And you know, I thought I'd give him a shout out. You know, I'm going to link it so you can download this yourself and see if you're any better than I am. Shit. I, mean, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just running around fucking shooting things that look like giant green fucking slugs. Is that that green rock stuff that was in that episode? I can't fucking remember. My Morty's a lot more badass in here than he was on the other ones. I wonder if he's done a Red Dwarf one. That'd be pretty sweet. The only Red Dwarf game I've ever seen is that fucking, um, apart from the DVD game, obviously. Is that Android based one that I never actually played, but apparently looked alright, you know. I should have downloaded it for the fucking GPD now, thinking about it. What a dickhead. Can't believe I forgot to do that. What a fucking arsehole, man. Shit, man. Fucking die, you cunt. Oh, don't say I'm dead, don't say I'm dead. What do I do? Shit. What if, oh, me seeks. Come here, you little dickhead. Oh, don't you fucking... Oh, what a limp dick, motherfucker. 
Son bitch. I was gonna try again, and this time we're gonna be fucking Rick, I think. So yeah, here we go. So we gotta get all those motherfuckers. Including Rick? Or is that Tiny Rick? We're gonna go with Tiny Rick. Okay, so here we are. This is Rick Sanchez. Wubba lubba dub dub. Let's hope we don't fucking suck. Shoot buttons, eh? I haven't set up the keys on here, so I'm having to find the keys out. It's A to shoot, you know, the arrow keys to walk and shit. It's pretty straightforward in that, in that respect. But to use the start menu in the pause, it's fucking D for some reason. I don't I don't know why that's fucking... Uh, I should probably have set up the keys before actually filming this. But I just thought, you know, it's fucking late at night. I'm going to have to go to bed soon, so why not give a good fucking... Good go on here. Now, like many people know before, I have actually done a... A HMD sort of set up before. I had my phone in, my, in a VR case, just a cheap VR Shinycon one, set up to a VR Shinycon Bluetooth controller. Later, my PS4 controller. But I would use that like in bed, and I'd fucking just sit there and play that for a bit when I when I fucking woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. Absolutely amazing. So I've used those sort of setups before, and I have to admit, for emulation, they're really badass. I was looking at the Oculus Go. But that's not apparently not an Android based operating system. Which means some apps that I'm wanting to run, such as emulators, won't actually fucking work unless they're made specifically for that bastard system. And that's something I just cannot fucking abide really, to be honest with you. So yeah, I'm probably not going to go with the Oculus Go. Which is quite a fucker, because that seemed like a, a good option, if I'm honest. I found out the Mavario, the, um, the all-in-one fucking 800... Video goggle things, they're sort of similar. They're over in the Android based system, and that's what it's all based on. In fact, this entire idea of making one it came up when, ah, oh, bastard, came up when um, I saw this weird Chinese looking headset that was red. It looked a bit like that one out of fucking, uh, what was it called? Ready Player One. Only well, it was red, and it said VR on the fucker when it, in, in fucking bright LEDs. Shit, I just fucking, oh, I can't believe I fucking walked in there. And I thought, you know, that's a cool idea. Fucking maybe get a USB N N64 controller. There you go, portable fucking N64. Piece of piss. And obviously NES as well. I'll have to check out. I'm gonna be, ooh, gonna be Rick again, I think. See, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty bummed out that I can't fucking do that. Boy, what was on about? I had a fucking headset. See, I'm trying to get that to work at the moment, but uh, it's fucking hard to find one to be honest. They look really fucking cool, like really. Kind of look like an old 80s fucking toy, which is good because you don't want it to look fucking really expensive. You want it to look something inexpensive so it's, you know, don't get fucking nicked. <laughs> if it looks inexpensive but yet houses a lot of power within it to play all these old fucking games, I mean, that's the thing. Android based operating systems can fucking play all these fucking classics. I mean, my old shitty phone that cost 20 quid could play every N64 game going. That is saying something. A shitty phone that costs 20 quid, but fucking has that. Could play every N64 game going. That's how far technology has come. So, yeah, why the fuck not build a fucking VR headset thing that can play everything? That's the way to go, in my opinion. Now, will I play Sega? Yes, I do like the Sega consoles, I ain't gonna fucking lie with you there. Um, but I haven't played them in some time, and I've never used an emulator to do so. That being said, I do like me some Sonic the Hedgehog. No fucking doubt about that. I wonder if debug mode works on an emulator. That'd be fucking awesome to just turn Super Sonic straight away. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die on it. What a fucking cunt. See, this is basically the game. You know, you just run around shooting these motherfuckers. I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously shit because I can't even get past the first episode. Episode. <laughs> can't get past the first fucking level. Shit. You little bastard. Fuck off. But you know, check it out for yourself, and you'll probably be able to get a lot further than I will. Fuck off. Dead, dead. I fucking knew it. What a cunt. Oh my god, what an absolute dipshit. Fucking hell. Right, we're gonna be Morty again. And yeah, we're gonna see what we can fucking do with that one. Okay, so let's go jump back into Morty. I can't even find anyone. I can't find Beth, Jerry, fucking Meat. Well, I can't find Meat Seeks, but that's about it. Why does he keep doing that? Just wanna get that fucking thing in it. Ah, uh, whatever. Shit. I forgot how to fucking fire then for a second. Absolutely suck at this. Ah, oh for fuck's sake, really? Straight away, are you fucking serious right now? For 
fuck off. Now, a while ago, I also fucking uh, did a lot of Sonic mods. And I ported them into every game I could. Recently, I found out it could be in Mario Party 9. Now, that's pretty ballsy after it, pretty badass. So, I kind of want to do that. But, I'm not sure if this computer can do it at the moment. So, I'm going to have to wait till I get my set up all working again. Until then, however, I have got some ideas. Like I said, portable VR headset and shit like that. But I'm unsure what to do. I don't even know how to film an Android fucking screen other than setting it up to a fucking computer and using the, what's it, HDMI source and filming it that way. But I kind of want it all just filmed and straight on YouTube from the actual setup itself. So I can just stick a headset and make the motherfucker and send it up. That's about it, really. I'm not sure if you can do that though. I'll have to see if there's any filming software for like Bandicam for Android. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's not a Bandicam for Android. I vaguely remember looking that up a, few, a couple of weeks ago. Shit. Oh, you can shoot the bullets? What a fucking coming on, dude. I seem to be a lot better with Morty than I am Rick, which is a worrying fucking assumption, to be honest. I prefer to be a Rick than a Morty. Shit. Pocket like you stole it, bitch. Which has to make really like that fucking Pocket Mortis game as well. That was badass. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I'm gonna check out the NES titles and see if there's any that pique my interest. If there is, I'll probably do some more of them. It's not a bad system, to be honest. Oh, what a fucker. Shit, we're not dead. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? For fuck's sake. Alright, well then. Fuck it, I suppose. So yeah, that's the Rick and Morty NES ROM hack. And I'll tell you what, it's a fucking good time. Give it a go. You know, I'm going to link it in the, in the description below. Um, you go there, download it, you know, tell them I sent you. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to my fucking channel. And, you know, watch more of my content. Keep tuned, keep, stay tuned. And I'll uh, keep making the vids, you know how it is. But anyway, my friend, that's all we've got time for today, the people. And once again, I've been me, and you've been you. Thank you so much for joining me on my gaming series. Please join me next time for something else. Bye-bye for now.